Hello everyone, this is Fenris Lycon, here to play Inscription. This is a horror-based roguelike escape room, and like Jumanji, we can't start a new game. We're playing one that has already been started by someone else. And this first run will be mostly a tutorial, and they'll uh, introduce new mechanics. Another challenger has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how the game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stout. Cost one blood, sacrifices must be made. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence the combat. Uh, combat. Your stout stands unopposed. The number in the bottom left is the attack power and that of course. Your stout dealt one damage to me. It's added to the scale. If you win, you tip the scale all the way over down. <laughs> like this. My turn. Your stout stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stout. That means your stout health is two less. A creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. Uh, we need a squirrel, because we don't have anything to play. How dull. Uh, we could place a wolf, but a stout will kill that anyways. Let's grab a new card. Keep going. And we can play a wolf. You've won this match. They won't all be this easy. Yes, we're very much learning. As a card, your story. Oh, yes. And now we have the board. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two dozens of the forest approach you tentatively. A cat and an Adler. Cat's really nice because uh, you can keep sacrificing it, so we'll grab the cat. Let's continue. You come across an abandoned sack. We have a squirrel in case of emergencies. And a second. <laughs> Another useful device is to help tip the scales. We can only carry three. We have another battle. You are ambushed crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you didn't sacrifice me, how kind. Maybe you'll help me? <laughs> sure. Alright, play along for now. Uh, and I can now see his moves. He's gonna put a... Uh, let's see, ooh, okay. Squirrel. So we put the squirrel down. We sacrifice it for the cat. And then sacrifice the cat to put the stout down, maybe? <laughs> so that will age up. Get one more squirrel and we can put down the river snapper. We'll have to figure something to do it. Uh, the bat will fly over our creatures to deal damage to us. That's okay. Uh, our river snapper will eventually kill it. Okay. Uh, that's fine. We'll be able to play this next turn. Once the boulder's gone. Yep, with another squirrel. And hopefully we'll be able to kill it. Another wolf, but that's all right. You prevail. You trek onwards past the now bloody terrain. We'll get new cards. Sparrow can fly over. Wolf cup. We'll take the wolf cup. 
I find flying creatures in this. I played the demo. Uh, to be kind of a vulnerability. So we can sacrifice one of ours to kind of infuse it. Hmm. So the cat's really good. And it would be good to be give it some attack power. I wonder... Because this adds age up, but like... This is... Uh, I'm going to the wolf cup because I want to see... Yeah, what happens when you age up? Or like... Or wolf ages up. Does it become like a dire wolf? Uh, we'll leave you alone. I want to see what happens when uh, a wolf ages up. We have like a epic battle now. A totem. My the canine cards are now airborne. His are at least. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Okay, we can put the step down. So these guys are airborne, so they'll fly over him. It doesn't really matter which side we do, so. Kill you and put you down. Back on the board. Uh. We might want to use one of our bottle squirrels for this. My totem has cre uh, granted the coyote the power of light. Oh, that was a lot. Uh, we definitely need a squirrel. Uh, this will do two damage. So if we don't put our wolf down or our river snapper, we will lose. So let's grab another squirrel. Sacrifice it. Ooh, and this is our um, empowered wolf too. So we get to see what happens when it ages up. An elder wolf. Oh, cool. We'll grab another squirrel. Our last card's probably a cat. Turn the tides with the damage. Oh, he looks at it too. You've three damage away from winning. Of course, you fly over. Um. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. We have it now. We'll actually do a whole lot of uh, extra damage. That wasn't that bad of a fight. Impressive. You may survive the ace deal. Knock on wood. New cards. Adler, a Sparrow, and a Raven. Hmm. Um, I feel like none of these are great. I guess we have to choose one. We'll take the Raven, I guess. It's fine. And we'll go to the Fire. Now, the Fire Pit's interesting. We come across a small group of survivors. Faces sunken from starvation, they huddle around a campfire. They look upon a group of creatures and beckons. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one says. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, another says. You notice one of the survivors wiping drools from their mouth. So, we can select one of ours. And I think I'm going to do the raven. And we can increase its power. Now we can push our luck. Uh, gosh, their teeth. Oh, okay, we can't. But normally, so because we're learning... You can keep um, enhancing the power of your creature, and there's a chance you lose it because they'll they'll eat it. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I'll tear you to shreds. Okay. <laughs> uh, we need more like one cost. Oof. So this fight is kind of like a fight that's pretty much impossible. So we won't use our gear. Um, we can put our squirrel down, but, because the flying creature will fly over it. Yeah, there's, we're going to get wrecked by those grizzly bears. Wow, we didn't even <laughs> have a chance. Uses this as a learning opportunity. Migrate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. So this is our chance to kind of move around the, uh, cabin. And there's a whole bunch of things we can interact with, but... 
we need to grab a candlestick. We'll also put out the fire and put a little smoke into here. And we'll come back out once we have more of an opportunity. <laughs> now sit back down. So that's kind of the introduction of moving around the cabin, the escape room. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Hmm. So we can go for another campfire, or we can go for more equipment. We have most of our equipment, so let's go to the campfire. Another wolf. Aller, River Snapper. Uh, I guess I'll go for the. Uh, the little mushrooms telling us how many we have in our deck. Go for the Adler. Go to the campfire. Yep, yep, yep. We've seen this. So, damage. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. Uh, I'll do a River Snapper. I think increasing its attack power will be the strongest. And now we have our boss battle. The boss battle, the first time you encounter it, it's pretty tough because we don't have all the mechanics. The tree seems to close around you as such hill must mist descends. In the distance, you hear the clanks of metal and stone. A hobbled figure still in your path. Yeehaw! Tis with the pe prospector. Ooh, okay, so we have. A pack mule and a coyote coming down. And we also have who? The cat and a squirrel. So we get the squirrel down. We get the cat out of the way. And if we're going to take damage down, I guess we want it on our river snapper. And we can put the wolf down next turn. Although actually we need a um, squirrel. I'm gonna grab our squirrel. And we'll do you. So the pack mule has cards underneath it. If we kill it, we get a whole bunch more uh, cards to use. So we'll put our squirrel. Oh, and this is our good wolf too. It's sometimes tough to tell when it's uh, in your hand. Uh, I guess we need a new card. He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule's the key. Uh, we'll need a squirrel, so let's go. Ah, and now we have all the cards. Ooh, I haven't seen the skunk before. Dang, nabbit! That's my moon mule. Uh, we... Wow, we have another cat. And a squirrel. Uh, I guess we grab... The problem is this is in the way. We're gonna grab another squirrel. So we should be able to almost win this fight. I'm going to pass because he'll, like, destroy our cards. So we don't want to commit too, too much to the board. Overkill damage. Excess damage is not wasted. It gets put into uh, money. Uh, I guess we're drawing through our deck. And we're passing. Because we're going to wreck him. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Great. So our board is now very wrecked. Gold, I've struck them gold. Ooh, I haven't seen the uh, hound before. So we select it, it's a guardian. Okay, so he will move. We'll grab more squirrels so we can actually play things. We have to wait for these gold nuggets to... Uh, we're actually gonna be in trouble if we don't have a one cost. Uh, we have the skunk, which lowers the attack. Uh, you're not very good. Uh, I guess we're gonna play the skunk. Yeah. Because we can't put enough squirrels down. We could put the stout, but it will probably die. Yeah, it'll die before, so let's do the skunk. And hope he plays more, so we can actually... And the skunk reduces the attack power of the opposing enemy. We'll just keep getting squirrels. So we, once we can actually put things on the board. The Adler is not a great one. We'll wait. 
Uh, how many? We have a bunch of squirrels in our hand. We'll grab our last card so we have the max amount of choice. So, I think the plan here is we'll. You have three attack power. Yep. Kill the squirrel and skunk. And I think the stout will have to take one for the team, our buddy. Who actually talks to us in this spot? You sure? Um, I'm sorry, dude. You have to, you have to take out the outlaw. Ooh, it's only when it attacks. Okay, well we can keep taking squirrels, and there's nothing else to do, so we'll we all attack. I've actually never defeated this guy in like the first round, but we'll use a tooth to. Oh, will this win us? Okay, well we should have attacked. I thought we would have more damage. You don't think you'd really do it. Allow me to light your candle once more. I won't quite be killing you yet. <laughs> and we've finished our brass. Uh, I've, okay, well, this is normally in the demo. This is where it would end. So, you're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a ward, you grant the opportunity to select a rare card. Cool. Choose carefully. Let's see. A strange lava. Interesting. Oh, it keeps upgrading. Whoa. A very, very strong guy, but takes your entire board. A gecko. Uh, perhaps we can find a use for it. Interesting. I want the lava. With the sound of the prospector's prick, uh, pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry onwards. It's interesting. Hmm. Ooh, we have an. Ooh, this is how the new board goes. The rink. Smell of rot and mold permeates the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slipper slip there. You tread casually into the wetlands. Ah, so we are now going to a new area. Probably go grab the items. We can also stand up. Hmm. So normally in the demo there was a book that helped us to open the safe. So we'll uh actually I'm gonna stand up because there's also this frame which doesn't have anything that we could try and go for. I think we have to lose our first run before that will trigger. Uh, river snapper, bullfrog stops air. Mm, not impressive. Ooh. Uh, can strike both to the left and right. We'll take you. We don't have very much many uh, one cost cards and I think we'll grab items because we use them all. Uh, the takes a blood gives airborne. So we're going to take this because it's worth three blood. We don't have anything that uses three blood, but we have things that use two. Uh, we can destroy a card. That seems very strong. And we'll grab a squirrel. We'll go to our boss battle. Ooh, okay. Uh, two flyers. Hmm, I think we get our strange larvae down, and we don't have to really worry about it dying uh, because those will fly over it. So we'll go. Ouch, ouch. Oh, whoa. Oh, it dived down. I didn't check that. Okay, well, maybe it wasn't so good to put it because I assumed the next one would actually deal damage. Um. Hmm. Oh, they're flying and we can't kill them. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, but we will do damage back. Wow, a lot of damage back. Seven. We actually, I think, win, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Hmm, maybe. What are you? Oh, he this deck is all things that we can't kill. Ooh, scary spider. Man, this moth is insane. Yeah, okay, did it. We did not, unfortunately, it got it exactly. Takes a long time. A wolf, bullfrog, snapper. Mmm. I really wish you could skip some of these. Uh, I guess I'll take the wolf. I feel like damage is stronger than uh, health. A chance to enhance. And 
I think we'll do with the cat because it's kind of tough having a creature on board that can't actually ooh uh, I think we do on a rare card because we always want to get down we want to get down early so now we can keep it on the board and use it to power uh, I think this is the boss battle Ooh, this is a new thing I haven't seen. Uh, I kind of want to go left just to see this path. So if this is a boss battle, we can use our items. Or we could go to the right. And But if we need to use our items, we can always refill before the... Mm, this is not the boss. But it looks towards the end. Ooh, the snake totem. It's me. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. Okay. Uh, great. It's giving the underground thing. So we're not going to be able to kill. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're putting the stout down. It doesn't really matter where. Because. Oh, wait. It will not fly over. It will just keep attacking it. Mm. So the river snapper would actually be a good spot to go there. But we'll put our stout down for now. Tell them let's play. Dude, you have to believe in me. Okay. Wow, that's... This is a really tough fight. Uh, we're racing for damage. Okay, I think we grab... The wolf, huh? Uh... Hmm... We ha we need to get the wolves down. The problem is that we lose this entire board from the Adlers. Oh gosh. Um. Are either of our wolves that are stronger ones? No, unfortunate. I think we grabbed both of these. Can we cut them before they come down? I think... No, okay, we cannot. Squirrel. And... Black goat. The goat gives us a wolf. That buys us two turns. He's probably worth the damage. Yeah. So we do four damage and we'll take one back hmm in fact we have this fight okay we don't need to do anything else we can just throw one of these down because that three should do the damage perfect how brutal of you yeah yeah you told us that We can spend those with, as he says, the trapper. The trapper then we use as the merchant and we get new cards. I don't know what this icon does, so let's go over here. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have any three cost ones. Let's do a three guard. We have the grizzly. Alright, that's fine. We have a nice strong card to build up to. We can replenish our items. Uh, squirrel would be great. Black goat would also be great. Ooh, interesting. Actually, the praying mantis. Oh, you guys dive down. Mm. But if we put the praying mantis here next turn it can take out the coyote yeah I like that idea I wonder if it does two damage too yes it does very nice ouch mm hmm we need a squirrel so it takes that out we're gonna take 
still three damage back. We do one. One, two, three. I think we have just enough. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, what's those? Three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they each do one damage. So this should be fine. Uh, the question is now, can we actually do enough damage? Uh, we need to take this. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I think we need to put the grizzly down in like the open field. Uh, I think we need to use the black goat. This one will, is not flying, so we can block them. So squirrel, black goat, black goat gives us our grizzly, and I think that does it. Dude, there's gonna be so many to uh, teeth on that. Um, so we put both the squirrels down. And I don't believe flying creatures attack other flying creatures, so should be fine there. Oh, okay, so this guy, I should have put it on the right. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, the flying creature went over anyways, I believe. Maybe, I don't know, it wasn't very clear. So we're at the boss there. A buck moose, so he moves our creatures around. Stops flying. I feel like I want my creatures to actually like stop combat, so for, for me taking damage. We'll take you, I guess. Although he's gonna be tough to play. We'll do the fire. So we have another attack. <laughs> Pick someone else. Uh, He double attacks. Kind of like the praying mantis skin more attack. Go to, to the second boss battle. Of course, we can't have two. My boss battles are high stakes. Test your aptitude. With one flame, you'll either overcome them or die. Fear not. I've let you keep the smoke. So we have a card to help us because we got there with. A sm foul smell invades your nostrils and cause your throats to seize. A hulking man sat by a blackish pond, and his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from the pile of rotten fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Okay, what are you putting down? You're doing the same thing. All of these uh, diver dudes. So, I think we get our praying mantis. What is our smoke? He's just a free dude that we can use to sacrifice, it looks like. So we could get the river snapper, but it doesn't really help us. Squirrel and mantis, put you here. And we will be good. Unless we want to get our stout down for more damage. I actually like that idea. We might have to sacrifice him in the future. But for now. Oh man. <laughs> oh no. Too fast. Too soon. Oh no. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. Wait. Wait. This was terrible. Um. Um. Hey. Hey. You did not say those were the rules. Oh gosh. Uh, but, but. Thanks, you cheating bastard. Um, uh, I think we're dead, man. I think we're dead. Good, good night. Ah.
The boss cheated us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we get to do what happens when we die. Huh. Go fish. Oh, gosh. You aren't dead yet. This is in purgatory. Though you may think of it like that. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memo. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be a perfect memo of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose the cost. Um, I guess we want it to be the lowest cost. I right, we'll do the Adler. Cost two blood from the Adler. Uh, now we're taking the power and health. Uh, I guess we want the Snapper. That's the best stats. Oh, the cost tells. Ooh, okay. I was wondering how this worked before, but the cost tells it what cards it will pull next. So there is a reason to do the three card one. Uh. The signals. Uh, I really like the. Does this pull both of them? Yes, it does. We get both the fleet and, and the many lives. Uh, yeah, that's really great. We get, oh man, this card's pretty nice. Oh, of course, we'll do Lycon. But now there's one final matter the portrait. Are you ready? You don't need to smile. And that will end our first run of inscription. I hope to see you guys next time where we begin our second one. And they'll introduce new rules. So uh, I'll see you in the next video as we continue our second run.